What is survival of the fittest? And is it happening in our own backyards? Organisms that are most fit to meeting their needs in their environment are the most likely to survive and reproduce. Those traits that helped them be successful are then passed along to the next generation, and so on. So survival of the fittest, or natural selection, is all about how fit a species is to reproduce and survive over the long term. So what does this fitness really look like? It can be helpful to think about what adaptations different creatures have to surviving in their environment. For example, raptors like hawks, owls, and eagles have bills that are very sharp and allow them to tear into their prey easily. Hummingbirds have long pointed bills that allow them to access nectar hidden deep within flowers. Chickadees have tiny little bills that help them grab bugs off of tree branches. And ravens and crows have bills that are good at just about anything. They're generalists because they can eat meat, they can eat seeds, and almost anything in between. So their bills are adapted well to handle a variety of different foods. So let's get ready to go outside and figure out what kind of birds would be most fit to surviving in your backyard. So here's what you're going to need to do this activity. You're going to want to grab any kind of tool that reminds you of a bird bill. So for example, chopsticks, pliers, clothes pins, spoons, squeezers, lobster crackers, anything that reminds you of a bird bill. So once you have a few of those tools in hand, you want to have a variety for this activity so you can compare, then you're going to time yourself. So give yourself 30 seconds to collect food that you think would be good bird food in your backyard with the different tools. When you've done that for 30 seconds with each tool, compare how much bird food you are able to collect. So now pause this video so you can go and do that activity and then when you're done, you can come back here and push play again. So which tool got you the most bird food? Can you think of a bird in your area that has a bill similar to that tool? If you're not sure, you could try flipping through a bird field guide like this one to look for some inspiration about bird bills and birds that live near you, or you could explore an online resource like allaboutbirds.org. In my backyard right now, there are a lot of different tiny little seeds that are pretty hard but abundant. So I found that using these little pliers that were good at grabbing little things and then cracking them open would be a really good bill to have in late November in Maine. So some of the birds that we do have around here with bills like that are goldfinches. They're great at grabbing little seeds and cracking them open to eat what's inside. Hummingbirds are not very well adapted to finding their food of flower nectar here in Maine in late November but they are well adapted to migrating, so they can go to a different spot that's warmer where there's more flowers for them to eat the nectar of during the winter months. Survival of the fittest is all about looking at the traits that are passed along to support reproduction and survival in the long term. So while hummingbirds might not seem very fit in your own backyard right now, they are very fit in the long term because of the combination of traits that they have that allow them to survive. We know that our ruby-throated hummingbirds are pretty fit, in fact, because as a species, they still exist. 